Right, it's um, half past nine on uh, Friday evening. We're uh, at the Hilton Docklands Hotel. Uh, where we're staying overnight before we start the Roof of the World Rally on uh, tomorrow, half past ten. Where we aim to then to leave at twelve and head to the Eurotunnel at four and across into France from there. I wanted to quickly show you what we've got in the back of the vehicle. Um, basically two spare tyres. Uh, all the tyres have been provided by Mike Stokes Motorsport, so uh, thank you Mike for that. Uh, and all the tyres on the vehicle have been filled with uh, uh, Oco tyre sealants, so which basically means if we have a puncture, it reseals itself and then we can fill it back again as we go along. And you the back of here, all the bags are out at the moment, obviously everyone's in the hotel, um, but there's uh, four bags in the back of here. We've got uh, a box here, uh, some of it is for a uh, children's orphanage in Croatia, in Zagreb, where we're going to on the way. I'm stopping to drop that off for children between sort of north and eight. And we've also got some stationery there, uh, kindly donated by Hayeswood School, for the uh, school in Tajikistan. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got um, fuel, 60 litres of fuel. Um, we hope to get onto the Palmyra Highway, and if we do so, there's not a petrol station for about three, four hundred miles. So we'll need a full tank and uh, three of those to get us around that, that, that period. Um, in here as well, we've, obviously the vehicle is being donated to the children's school, which uh, has been fully serviced and done up by Douglas Motors and by Marsden Park Garage in Bournemouth. Yeah. Uh, we've also got a spare kit here, so you've got a Haynes manual, you've got all the pieces, which hopefully means they can look after the vehicle many years after we've gone. And the good thing with it being a V8, as much as it's probably uneconomical in the UK, in Tajikistan, um, with the briquette filters that we put into the uh, into the fuel tank as well, which has been donated by briquette, that'll help um, improve the poor fuel they have over there and give them many years to use out this vehicle. So um, in here then, uh, we've got uh, the stuff we take into the, the orphanage. We've got a first aid kit. We've got, which we'll be testing out, uh, Volts Energy Shots drinks. Uh, they are our main sponsor of ours. We've got a journalist joining us from Total Off Road magazine in a couple of days' time. Uh, and uh, she's being funded by Volts. So we'll be testing this stuff out to see how good it is. Um, I've tried it out, it is, it is good stuff. If you're, if you're at a lot late night, we've had a few beers or whatever, or you wake up um, having a few of these in the morning, it, it sorts you right out. So we're going to be testing these out on the rest of the crew. Obviously not me, because I'll be driving all of the way. Um, we have tea as well. Uh, Ahmed Teas have provided us cups, saucers, aprons, tea cozies, teapots, and six kilos of loose tea. So again, we'll be serving that along the way as well to build relationships on the countries that we're, we're going through. Uh, what else we've got along here? So all the business in there, we've also got a large bag that goes on the roof, and that has 10 sleeping bags, all the business like that. The sleeping bags have been donated by Snugpack, and uh, Galert did it, uh, donated the tents, and we've got other people involved as well. So um, that's the vehicle so far. Um, what I'll show you around the vehicle first, so you can see who, are, who is involved. And what I want to go on today is really the adventure theme of what we're trying to get out of this. There's a number of branding exercises we want to try and do. Um, of which this today is, is really the adventure thing. What we've probably brought together is you've got night watches here. You can see I've got the MX-10 on here. Uh, this retails at 175 pounds and it is a very comfortable watch. Um, it's real resistant to, um, I think it's about 100 meters. Yep, 100 meters. Um, but it is a, with the plastic strap, it's a very comfortable watch. So Niter donated that, which is great. Um, we've got Merrill, who've donated the shoes. We've got Regatta. Uh, the jackets, uh, Snug Pack have donated the uh, luxury uh, uh, wash bags, the travel bags, the sleeping bags, which are exhibition spec. So they'll go down to plus 15 and up from there. And uh, we've got Garmin as well. Now Garmin have provided us with uh, provided us with an Oregon 450 uh, portable sat nav, which means we can we can track our way through the mountains. Should we get uh, <laughs> should we get detached from the vehicle in any way? Um, find our way out of some infidels cave um, and they've also remapped our current software and uh, so that's good from that point of view on the vehicle on the vehicle here on the front bonnet here we've got silver sands computers that are based in pool who have donated the odd fellows pub one of the smallest pubs in dorset where we, we left from this morning at uh, two o'clock uh, we're on our way to see manus petroleum who have very kindly donated a, a, a large lump sum to the fuel that we'll be needing to drive us there and to Completely the other end of the scale, we've got uh, Infinergy, which is a consultancy with regards to wind energy, uh, who build wind farms across the world. Um, 
So yeah, we've got a number of people here. We've got Luminada, again, states exactly what it is, great Spanish foods. Um, but what we're looking at really is, is these five here today, is uh, block eyewear, which I wear when I go, when I go skiing when I can, um, good eyewear. Um, we've got polarized lenses from them, which we're using across, across the trip. The coats, the shoes, the um, sat-navs, and bits and pieces like that. So, and of course on the front bumper here you've got crag hopper, uh, which tie in with the same group of, uh, as regatta. But uh, as you can see here with the trousers I'm wearing here, uh, these are mosquito resistant, which we're going to need when we go into Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan. Uh, and they're convertible as well, so you can, you can undo those as well. And they are very comfortable and light, which is ideal for that temperature. You've got the male shoes there, which we're we'll wearing. Obviously not undone, but uh, male shoes, again, very comfortable. Uh, then we've got our shirts, which we've, we've had done, uh, and on from there. So um, this is where we are at the moment. So tomorrow we'll run you another film. We'll be in, uh, we'll be in France by then. Uh, and we can run up where we're going from there, and we'll probably run one from the uh, start of the rally as well. Uh, but uh, any questions you have, uh, write them through the website. If you want to see where we are, we've got a spot GPS system working in the vehicle, and you probably realise now if you went onto the um, page, which is Where's the Team Now, you'll see that we're based in London in Docklands, which is where we are at the moment in Hilton. So uh, have a look. Any questions, whack it through on the email. We'll be able to pick up the emails for the next 14 days. Uh, any questions we can do. Any dares you have, we'll happily take on some dares. Uh, we're doing various projects along the way anyway, but we're happy to try and think if you're willing to make a donation at the same time. So, uh, until tomorrow, thanks a lot and, uh, and keep watching.